the first 10 years of my professional career, I was a TV director, and I got tired of working with a group, so I discovered photography, which it takes only one person, only one person behind the camera. And um, I did a long career of photojournalism, about 13 years, starting in Atlanta, and then going to the Atlanta, to the Cincinnati Enquirer, and finally teaching it at Ohio State for 16 years. And on retirement, my photojournalism died up, died out, and so I started playing with the computer, with Photoshop, and invented my digital art. I call it digital art, and that's a bad term. It's really computer painting. Photojournalism, I looked at the subject outside, and in this, this, this digital art, I look at the subject from inside. So I'm trying to, in photojournalism, I try to tell the truth, and in digital art, I try to tell the truth. It's on a different scale. One of my pieces is right back here. It's a security agent for Governor Reagan a few years ago. He's looking, for, looking at the crowd. He's not looking as, as a person with a cannon. He's looking for subtle things, just a subtle difference in movement. And as you can see it in his eyes. This happened to be one of the few that uh, the photograph remained in the picture. Most of them, the photograph long disappears. And uh, looking for uh, subtleties, it's a lesson that we can look for subtleties. We generally just see the big picture, but looking at subtleties helps us understand the world. This is uh, what I call dog sniffing a rectangle. It takes a second glance to see the dog in the rectangle. I love dogs, I have four dogs, and so I love their curiosity. And so it's all embodied in this one picture, a dog sniffing a rectangle. Most people, again, most people don't pay attention to rectangles, but dogs do. Anything new, they've got to understand it. This one is an old man looking at an, examining an egg. Uh, there's a message there. The man is looking at an egg. He might be looking at an egg in the refrigerator and wondering, wondering whether he's going to fry it or scramble it. But this is an egg at the beginning of life. And uh, it's very, uh, a lot of wisdom shown in that. And it kind of, it's kind of autobiographical. It's, it's me, and I'm either looking at the wisdom of the world or looking at an egg and wondering whether I'm going to scramble it or fry it. Time will tell. In photojournalism, I didn't think of myself as a news hog. I thought of myself as commenting on the culture. And that's what I'm doing now, I'm commenting on the culture in a more abstract way, but a way that embodies reflection. Our culture is noisy. It leaves a little time for quiet reflection. And I'm hoping a piece of my art on a wall will give people time for reflection in this hurly-burly world.